the events of the world keep reminding us that this is not a place to stay. This is a place to pass through. And as we're passing through, we're trying to develop good qualities in the mind. So we have something good to take with us, and we leave good things behind. It's not that we're gathering up all the good things and running away. In fact, a lot of the good qualities of the mind come from letting go. But not just letting go any old which way. Making things good and then letting them go. And John Lee made the comment one time that a lot of people are like paupers when they let go. They haven't developed concentration, they haven't developed any real discernment of their own. And so they just let go. But they don't have much to leave behind, and they don't have much to take with them. Because even though you let go, the good qualities come into the mind. That's, make, that's what it, why it's worth letting go. But if you let go and you don't have any good qualities in the mind, then it doesn't really accomplish much. So you've got to develop them. When I first went to stay with John Fu, he made the comment one time, I hadn't realized how controversial it was, but he said there are some people who say, all you have to do is let go, let go, but that's not true. You also have to develop, develop good qualities in the mind, and you have to work on them. In fact, you have to develop them first, then you can let them go. It's like borrowing some money from someone. You use the money, you return it with interest, and you have something good left over. That's a good, that's a good loan. If you borrow something and then just squander it, then everybody else, everybody's worse off. So you try to take this body you've got here and make the most of it. Learn how to use the breath to develop concentration. Use the motions of the mind to develop discernment. That way, when you have to let go of the body and the mind, you still got the concentration. You still got the discernment. You can take those things with you. So look around. What are the things that you can do for the world to create good qualities in your mind? And then make sure you take some time every day, every day, to look after yourself. Because nobody else can come into your mind and straighten things out for you. You have to do the straightening out yourself. And if you don't do it now, when are you going to do it? It doesn't get easier as you get older. As the world starts moving in, moving in, you would have something that can't be hurt by the world, can't be trampled by the world. You have to look for that inside.